Assalamu alaikum brother Nan, how are you bro? Wa you good? Mashallah. Welcome to the ODM show, right? So alhamdulillah, it's really nice to have you on today. Uh, we'll get right into the topic. What we want to discuss today is basically a contention that's made by loads of Christians, some atheists, some orientalists, which is that the Quran's not preserved, right? You don't have the authentic Quran and so on and so forth. So let's discuss that. Let's go into maybe the preservation of the Quran and how we can be certain that the Quran is as it was when it was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you for inviting me to this program. I would like to say to these people who question the preservation of the Quran to get a life, in simple terms. Right. Uh, because some of these people have come up with very, very lame arguments to tarnish um, the concept of the preservation of the Quran. When one studies this topic carefully, one comes to realize that modern academics have studied the Quran impartially and they have stated in a number of articles and journals and books that the Quran as it stands today is exactly what the Prophet of Islam had delivered to his companions. This is clearly stated by a lady from Germany called, her name is Angelica Newworth. Mm. She is a scholar uh, on the text of the Quran and she has clearly stated that the Quran we have today is what effectively was delivered by Prophet Muhammad to his companions. Now she is not a believer in Islam. Mm -hmm. Okay, she has no agenda here. She's clearly stating facts depending on uh, the the evidence she has so far seen. And this is exactly what she says that uh, as far as the evidence is concerned, there are no questions about any different text of the Quran. Right, okay, Swana. So Masha, that's, that's very fascinating. So let's go into the preservation from the Islamic perspective. How was the Quran preserved? Can you give us a brief sort of in two, three minute summary of how the Quran was preserved? Basically? Okay. The Quran was, as we understand, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay. He would receive this revelation in a num number of different ways. Okay. Um, every time he received a revelation, he would ask his uh, scribes to come. They would simply attend the gathering where the revelation was re being received, he would simply state the words of the Quran and these scribes would pen them down immediately straight away in his presence. And these scribes numbered um, in, um, not, if not hundreds, uh, tens of scribes the Prophet ﷺ had at different times. For example, Muawiyah bin, uh, bin Abi Sufyan was one of the scribes. Zayd bin Thabit was one of the scribes. Ubay bin Kaab was one of the scribes. Uh, Ali bin Abi Talib was one of the scribes of the Prophet Wasallam, and the list has been given by Muhammad Mustafa Al-Azami in his book um, The History of the Quranic Text from Revelation to Compilation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the list is there of the prof uh, Prophet's scribes. Right. Um, so these scribes would simply pen down what they would hear from the mouth of the Prophet Wasallam as being revealed. Sure. Um, and then later on it was memorized. All of these companions, these scribes would simply go and uh, recite the Quran publicly mm -hmm. as we know that Muslims pray five times a day okay and in their prayers they have to recite the Quran sure. so the Quran was immediately a public book it was recited publicly un unlike the Bible mm -hmm. or unlike any other religious scripture sure. so as soon as it was revealed it was deemed the Word of God and it was revealed as uh, sorry it was read as set, such in public so and if I'm not mistaken, the Quran was preserved in two ways, orally and written, scribed down as well, on pieces of parchment, bone, and whatever have you. So as far as that's concerned, would you say that that makes it more of a, a sound tradition because you've got the oral aspect and then you've got the written down uh, Quran as well? Even this itself is a miraculous uh, uh, you know, reality about the preservation of the Quran. The Quran clearly states that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed the scripture the remembrance and he will guard it against corruption in chapter 59 verse 9 Allah says A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim Inna Nahnu Nazzalna Dhikra Wa Inna Lahu Lahafidhun That we have revealed the remembrance which is the Quran primarily speaking and we will guard it against corruption Then in another place Allah says La Ya'tihi Al-Batilu Min Bayni Yadayhi Wa La Min Khalfi That Batil falsehood will not affect this book from behind or from the front in other words this book will be preserved it will be protected now how was it protected it was protected as you already stated rightly um, in two forms primarily it was a recitation it was recited it was a qira okay it was recited literally the quran the word quran means a recitation 
So it was recited, physically recited. Okay. On top of that, it was written down in Arabic alphabets. Okay. In Arabic script. And even the script was developed because of the Quran. The Arabs became a literary people because of the revelation of the Quran. They were a literary people in the oral sense. They used to memorize poetries and genealogies and they were a very highly literary people. But it was the Quran which caused them to start writing things down. Right. So the Quran was the first book ever written in the Arabic language. There are many inscriptions from the pre-Islamic era you find in the Arabian Peninsula from the old text of sure. the Arabic language. But the text we find today, the alphabets, uh, the script, the Arabic script, it was developed by the companions of the Prophet sure. to pen down the Quran. Yeah. So, so if you have a book in the written form, you can always make a mistake in reciting it. For example, the Jews have the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yes. Okay. From the first and the second century BC, depending on. Um, uh, which dating you follow. But it is very difficult to read that text because it doesn't have any oral tradition coming with it. Mm -hmm. With the Quran, we don't have that. In the, with the Quran, we have the written text from dating back to the time of the Prophet wasallam or his companions. Okay, We have parchments dating back to the time of Uthman bin Affan, mid-first century. And some of them can be found on... Islamic-awareness.org. Yes. A lot of the manuscripts are available in pictures. They are uh, they are available. You can see them. So some of these manuscripts, if you were to just read them today, it would be very difficult to recite them. But the oral transmission of the Quran is absolutely necessary for you to recite them correctly. Sure. So Quran is preserved not only orally as a recitation; it is preserved as a writing as well. Jazakallah, brother. None for that. May Allah bless you. You're welcome.